Good morning, everyone. It's so good to be up with you in the morning. Early in the morning, we will rise up and seek him because he has been our help. Thank you for joining us and unite in prayer as we journey toward the resurrection. This morning, I want to talk to you a little bit about eternity being placed in our hearts. Ecclesiastes 3.11 says that God has placed eternity in the hearts of mankind. What it essentially means is we are overcharged for this life. This life ultimately will never satisfy us. Only in God can we have true satisfaction. Even though this life can never satisfy us, isn't it awesome that God gives us minutes and moments where he declares his glory? And that's what I want to talk about today living in the moment. In the Greek, in the, in the Bible, there are two words used for time. One is chronos and the other is kiros. Chronos means the passing of time. It's like being led down a river in a boat. It just moves you forward. But the other, kiros, is a moment in time. It literally means an opportune moment. And that is what I want to talk to you about today. It's so easy in our world to wake up and to look at everyone else's life and to compare our life to their lives, to see what they're doing and how they're living. And it sometimes can even frustrate us when we compare ourselves. But I want to encourage you, every moment you have an opportunity to choose to follow Jesus, to choose to follow his adventure, to choose to live in the moment. And so I want to encourage you today to take advantage of each moment and turn to the Lord. Seek Him. The Bible says to seek Him with our heart, soul, mind, and strength. And so when you're tempted to look to the left or to the right, refuse to do that and embrace the moment. You know, this morning we were on a hike, me and my lovely wife, and as we were journeying up, I was thinking about what I was going to say. And in the midst of it all, there's a herd of elk, there's a double rainbow, and I found myself almost more focused on what I was going to say than actually looking at God declaring His glory right in front of me. And so don't miss out today. Don't look to the left or the right or what other people are doing. In those moments, just focus on the Lord and He will lift you up. You know, I was looking at my journal. Uh, it was dated in January of 2014. And in that journal note, um, I was sick that morning. And I got up and I was looking at everyone else's social media posts and I was thinking how I was going to miss out on the day and, and everyone else was living more life than I was. And then I stopped and I said, you know what? I'm going to live in the moment. And I started seeking the Lord. And you know what? In that sick bed where I was fr frustrated and struggling, God met me there. And he gave me some incredible words that day. And so instead of looking over the fence at what other people are doing or what tomorrow holds, find the moment and live in it. Let me just pray for you. Jesus, thank you for the minutes and moments that we get to share as a family and as friends and as a church and as a community. God, I just pray for each of my brothers and sisters who are watching or listening. I pray that you would meet them in the moment. God, let us redeem the time for the days are evil. And let us live every moment serving you, seeking your face, and living for your kingdom. Jesus, I believe with all my heart you offer forgiveness to those who need it today, grace and mercy and love. So God, may we be your ambassadors today, sharing the love of Jesus, the only hope for the world. God, we love you and we thank you for these minutes and moments that we share. Bless you, Jesus. We love you. In your name we pray. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. See you down the mountain.